Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson, and I'm gonna just take you on a little tour of my favorite appliances, or at least some of my favorite appliances that pertain to the kitchen. So I don't know, are you in the in you know in the shopping mood to get some of these sales? We've got, you know, we've just passed Father's Day and they always have sales, but now we have the Fourth of July. The sales are becoming. We're looking toward, you know, I know Labor Day's not here yet but it comes up fairly quickly. And if you're starting to save your pennies over the summer and maybe you're looking for some new appliances, I'm always looking to see what other people use, how they use it, why they use it, is it worth getting? I wanna know, I wanna be in the know. I wanna know what's happening in the world of an everyday kitchen. What do people use to make their life easier? Now, these are my appliances that I would call some of my favorites. You might say, Lynn, I don't like any of them or I like some of them or I like something different. We're all gonna have a different opinion, but I thought at least if I share with you what are some of my favorite appliances and why, it might help some of you with the Labor Day sales coming. You know, even toward the fall, you're gonna have all the different holidays up and coming and then people are gonna start getting ready for the holidays. So maybe this isn't on your holiday shopping list, but maybe you wanna catch a good sale and you're gonna have shopping Christmas in July coming up with Amazon Prime and all the rest. I'm not encouraging you to spend your money, but I am encouraging you to look at appliances that maybe can save you some time and effort and maybe even some money in the kitchen. So I'm gonna bring you along, let you see my appliances, see what you think, and let's chat at the end. Okay, this is not in any order, but this is my ice maker. So that's the brand I have. It's the only ice maker I've ever purchased, so I can't recommend this brand over another. What we did is this is a Dollar Tree magnet, and this thing like sticks to anything, and it came with a little scoop. So we put the scoop right here on the magnet, so we always know where it is. And it gives you little instructions up here. It sits on the counter. As you can see, it's not too huge. You definitely need to have a place for it. And inside, here we go, there's all of our ice. That's where it produces the ice back there. Whoop. Yeah, it's talking to me, look at that. It's probably getting ready to make some ice for us. I don't know if we'll see it. Let's see if it makes some for us. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Nope, not yet, but it's getting into the process, probably because I've opened the door. So why do I get an ice maker? We absolutely love ice. We do lots of our beverages with ice. And for us to have ice containers in the freezer, I have just a small upright refrigerator and freezer. And I don't know, I find the ice tastes funny. It collects the smells in the water in the ice cube tray from the freezer. We never seem to have enough ice and the ice cube trays take up a big part of the footprint of the freezer that I need for my meats and vegetables and breads. So to me, an ice machine is well worth it. All right, this is the air fryer that I have. Now this is the brand here and I will highly, highly, highly recommend this air fryer. It kind of looks to me like a spaceship. So this is how it is. It opens up just like that. You can make a pizza in here and it, the lid's up here and here you go. Yeah, this is it. I have it on my kitchen table. You can adjust it. It bakes, it does all kinds of things. We've not fully used it the way we should. I love this air fryer. We went from this style, we had this first, and then we purchased a Kasori, and I loved my Kasori. It was the standard pull-out drawer type, and my oldest son wanted it, so we gave it to him because we still had this one. This one, I have to say, hands down, if I had to buy another air fryer, I would buy this air fryer. We put macaroni and cheese in here, we put spaghetti in here, we warm up everything in this air fryer. It cooks quick, easily, and I just like the uh, roundness of it. And I can see what's in there. When you close the lid, you can still see in it. Yes, it's a little dirty. My kitchen's a real kitchen. Look at that, all this needs to be cleaned. But you know what, at least you know I'm cooking for my family. Love this air fryer. Okay, sorry for the humming in the background. We have the air on, it's like 90 degrees here. But yes, my Keurig. I know many people complain about a Keurig because the cost of the K-Cups, I still love my Keurig. We now have a percolator coffee, but this is our go-to. You've seen a quick look of that. I gotta refill my coffee, my Kraft. We're still using that. 
you've seen my coffee station. If you didn't catch my video on that, you can go back and catch up, catch up on my coffee station and how I set it up. So it's not perfectly neat. Look at that, it got trash in the trash bin. This is everyday living. This Keurig saves my hide more times over when I need a quick cup of coffee on the road, heading out to work and so on and so forth. I highly recommend getting a Keurig or something similar to it. Okay, I have two appliances that I keep in this door. This curtain here has got dishes and whatnot behind it. This is in my hutch that you see in my videos. So I'm gonna just show you them right in here. I can't be bothered lugging these things out and putting them on the counter and making this perfect show. I figured this is everyday living. You're gonna just see it as it is. But here is one I recommend an instant pot this is a large i don't know what size this is to be honest with you if you were to ask me but it's huge and it's heavy and it's big so i'll come back to the instant pot in a moment here is my all-time favorite my crock pot sorry that it's so dark but i like i said i don't want to pull them out right now my crock pot i love i can put things in there on low i can put it on high sometimes you call it a slow cooker by the way other than a crock pot and then after mine is done with the time, it just sits on warm until I unplug it or hit off. I have to say that's probably my number one favorite appliance. I've used that since the day I got married to up until now, 35 plus years, I have used a crock pot and slow cooker. An instant pot I have probably used for the past five to seven years. I had a different brand it was so complicated i couldn't figure out how to use it i ended up giving it away i got an instant pot on the recommendation of my sister i highly recommend this particular brand if you want to get a pressure cooker this is not sponsored this is just at home with lynn wilson giving you a recommendation i absolutely love it there you go this instant pot is finding a new home as of tomorrow we are giving this to my oldest son. I have loved it, I have used it. It has all the buttons and bells and whistles, rice, soups, stews, beans, everything is on here. And I have loved it, but I no longer find myself using it on the regular. And because of that, we are just kind of moving around in the house, doing a little decluttering and things that we don't use on a regular basis, we're passing along. I used to use this when I did a lot more of bulk cooking and having company over and doing church events and all the things that we used to do, we're not doing in the same manner anymore. So I'm passing this along to someone else that is now taking up that type of a lifestyle and doing more entertaining. My son and daughter-in-law constantly have 20, 25 people over at their house for different events, and they will put this to good use. But that's not to say I don't highly recommend you getting one if that is something you think you want to try out. There are plenty of videos on this. I would definitely recommend it. Okay, here we have my newest and greatest love, a rice cooker. This brand I bought, I can't recommend one brand over another. It was cheap and it was on Amazon. That's why I got it. So this is it. So inside makes a little bit of rice. It's funny, it just sits kind of wobbly. I don't know why, but it does until you put the water and rice in it. it comes with a little lid. Here's what you do. Right here, this button, this hit, or this, yeah, this one says cook, this one says warm. There you go. You turn it on and you turn it off. That's, that's it. This is the cup that it comes with. So I do three cups of rice and three cups of water. That will max this pot out. I turn it on and when it's done, it, autom it says cooking here and then it automatically goes to warm. And then when I'm done, I can just turn that button off. And let's see, that's on, that's off. This is for making hard boiled eggs and steaming vegetables, which I have not done yet. I do want to take you on a little bit of a, a trip and a tour when I do make some rice in here just to show you how it works. I have made rice and I've made oatmeal. Same thing with the oatmeal, three cups of this to three cups of water. Comes out perfect. 
The rice is perfect. I also want to learn how to do hard boiled eggs in here. I hear you can make pancakes and do some baking and even some chicken. So I want to try that out. All right, here is probably, if I had to choose, after the crock pot for number one, this is going head to head with a rice cooker, but this is an electric frying pan. I just purchased this one. It's a new one to me. I had another one and I burnt it out. So here it is, you plug it in. If you've never used an electric, there you go, an electric frying pan, you have different temperature gauges. You plug it in right here on the side. You plug it into your wall outlet. You can cook in this. You can make any kind of hamburger helper pork chops. You can cook steak, burgers, pancakes, you name it. If you cannot, maybe you don't have a stove where you live, you're living in t some type of a studio apartment, etc. This thing is a one pot wonder. I grew up with an electric frying pan. My mother-in-law used an electric frying pan. I can't say enough about this puppy. I love it. I burned my other one out after about five years. So we just purchased this on Walmart. It was cheap. I've used it maybe three or four times and it works fantastic. So if you're looking for one, I highly recommend this brand. Okay, so every kitchen in my estimation should have a food processor. I was given one of these by my grandmother when I first got married. It was used, beat up, but she gave it to me and I loved it. I beat that thing up till it fell apart. I got a second one. Now we're married 35 years. So this is my third one. I use it constantly. So I purchased one, whoop, it's not steady on its feet here. I purchased one that has a dough hook in it, a pastry blade, because I wanna be able to do some dough and things like that. Now, I got, this one is a KitchenAid. Don't go by that, they're all good. Actually, my absolute favorite was by Sears. Obviously, Sears is not around anymore, but if I could get one by Sears, that thing was a workhorse. Then I had a Wolfgang Puck, that thing was a workhorse. Now I have this one. I can't say I'm absolutely 100% thrilled with it. My other two to me were much better, but it's the one I have now until this one dies. But you know, right up here, you put your product in here. I can shred cheese, I can grate onions, I can chop carrots and celery. I can do pulled pork, pulled chicken in this. I can do dough in this. This thing just, if for homemade soups and stews and everything else, I'm telling you hands down, to me, a food processor is a lifesaver for anyone that's making different meals and just prepping. I can't, I can't say enough. One day, we'll probably have to do a bigger video on the things that I use my food processor for. So you got to see the appliances that I really like. These are not all the appliances I like. These are not all the tools that I am absolutely in love with in my kitchen. This is just a handful of things. I'll bring you back another day, show you some other things. Like I said, my newest, latest and greatest is the rice cooker. I'm loving it. I am, I cannot wait to try other things. I actually had a viewer say to me they were a truck driver. And if I understood them correctly, they would take it on the road, cook in the truck a chicken thigh and I think like teriyaki sauce in the rice cooker. So I gotta learn some of these things. When you're a small family of one or just a couple, then these types of appliances can really, really help. And I don't know, I hope you enjoy this. You know, one of the things is my home is an everyday home. It's not a fancy home, it's, it's a real home. Real people live in this house and I go to work full time. I work eight to 10 hours a day at a nine to five type job. I come home, I'm not home all day where, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but I don't have the luxury, I should say, or the privilege of staying home all day and prepping meals and taking my time and, and all of that. I need things that are quick, easy, fast, and I can just get that dinner on the table and make my life as easy as possible. We also are involved, you, you've heard me say this many times, we are just people that are on the go all the time. When I get done with work, we're usually moving and grooving to another event, another thing, probably four to five nights a week, we are out and about. So I need these great appliances to help me out. Crock pot, it can cook all day. 
I can put soups in there. I could do stews and all the rest and it can cook and then just stay on warm. The rice cooker, boom, my stuff is done. So these are the things that really help me as a full-time working woman. Not only am I a full-time working woman, I'm a wife and a mother. And I have two people that live in my home, my youngest son and my husband that are on disability. So my life revolves around a home of a working woman outside the home, a working woman inside the home, living with disabilities and not always having those luxuries of being home or having others to be able to help me. So maybe you're in a situation of, maybe you're the one on disability and you're like, you know what? I kind of need something to help me out here a little bit. So I hope this has been a little bit informative, a little bit helpful of how you can have an everyday kitchen appliance help you in your life too. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite appliances are in your kitchen. And don't forget, I will catch you all on the next video.